democracy. I, I don't know if you're aware of the fact that it, uh, CNN has been highly criticized in, in this country. I would even dare say ostracized for, for being occasionally anti-Israeli. But I wonder if, you know, every word uttered on MSNBC would be, you know, beloved by every Israeli watching. There'll be some things, I'm sure, that may get under people's skin and there won't be others. I just want us to be fair. I want us to be smart. I want us to have the facts. And I want a good, honest debate on our air. MSNBC, home to the most powerful voices in America today. If anything, I think that the president's speech uh, was, you know, too much leaning towards Israel. Bibi Netanyahu, today, right now, is he more of an ally or an antagonist to the process of peace? Israel banned journalists from entering the war zone. That's the thing about a free press. You can't always trust those wascally reporters to report exactly what you want them to report. בעוד שרשת CNN מנופפת בדגל האובייקטיביות, הרי שלMSNBC יש קו פוליטי ברור, גם אם לא מוצהר. הם מעין תמונת ראי של רשת פוקס השמרנית. אם פוקס תמיד יבואו מימין ויתמכו ברפובליקנים, MSNBC הם בצד השני של המפה. באמריקה כל אחד בוחר את החדשות שמתאימות לתפיסת העולם שלו. The Republican clown show has found its ringmaster. Guess who's now hosting a debate right before the Iowa caucuses? The fact is that Democrats got a lot done, a lot of hard stuff done on hard problems in a short amount of time. I wouldn't say that generally uh, MSNBC is pro-Obama and, and Fox News is anti-Obama. I would say that, that generally speaking, you're right. Mm -hmm. But the, it's a little more subtle than that. But for many years, the media has been derided for being liberal and biased. And finally, MSNBC came out and said, you know what, we're liberal and biased, and deal with it. Would you agree with that? I, I don't think that um, it happened quite like that, but I would agree with the general tone of what you're saying, mm -hmm. that we're going to be honest about who we are. Mm -hmm. And not all programs are going to be like that, but those that are are going to say it and say, look, that's who we are. At CNN, we take you beyond borders. CNN היא רשת עם פריסה בינלאומית. MSNBC עוד רחוקה מזה, אבל יש לה שאיפות. באמריקה היא כבר מנצחת. רצועות הבוקר והלילה מובילות בין ערוצי החדשות. יותר מ-CNN, יותר מפוקס. המתכון, אגב, בעידן הרייטינג מאוד מפתיע. כמה שיותר רציני, יותר טוב. the news or passionate about it or want to hear about it. Did you actually say that MSNBC has a monopoly on smart people? Uh, I think I did. Uh, I think it's a good line. Being smart is good business. And is the smarter we are, uh, the better. And once we did, once we decided that, you know, that depth and analysis would work, uh, you know, we soared. פיל גריפין, נשיא MSNBC, הוא איש אופטימי, יש שיאמרו אופטימי מדי. הוא מאמין שערוץ חדשות יכול להרוויח הרבה כסף גם בעידן האינטרנט. הוא מאמין שאפשר להציג את התמונה המורכבת של הסכסוך הישראלי-פלסטיני. והוא מאמין שישראלים יצפו בו, ולא רק כדי לכעוס. You know, the single most important is to get a sense of what's going on in Israel and how people feel. Mm -hmm. But it would probably mean that the Prime Minister would be more comfortable on Fox News than he would be on MSNBC. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs>